This lesson is for people who are pro-democracy, probably progressives, probably white progressives, who has somebody in their circle who is likely to vote, but is undecided about who to vote for, or is Trump curious, not Trump committed. So at this point, the harmonized set, we've talked about reflect, calm down. We've talked about inquire, ask questions. We've talked about agree, tell stories that respond to their stories about why they feel like they feel that show you don't think they're completely crazy. We've talked about challenge, tell stories that highlight how you feel. Now we're harmonized. Now for the harmonized set where you're gonna close this off, although this might be extended several conversations, uh, you might, go back to the structure of, this con structure of this conversation because you're talking to somebody who is undecided. So they probably have had experiences that make them not want to vote for Mr. Trump. And so what you want to do is to get them telling stories about that. What's some experience you had that makes you ambivalent, that makes you not at 100%? Remember, we talked about motivational interviewing a few lessons ago. So if they're at 7 out of 10 for Trump, you might say, why are you not at eight? Why are you not at nine? What keeps you from being at 10? And then they answer that and you say, what's some experience you had that drives that? Because you want this to be a storytelling conversation. Now, if you've done all of these steps, your their experiences that make them kind of pro-Trump, your experiences that suggest Mr. Trump, your experiences that suggest away from him, and their experiences suggest away from him, now you are collaboratively examining both your and their experiences so that we're reasonable people trying to make a good decision. And so you might ask the question of, how do they balance the good and the bad? How do they think of that? Now, you're not in a contest, you're in a collaborative space of mutual examination. Again, remember, Mr. there's Mr. Trump himself as a leader, there's Mr. Trump and his policies, and there's the MAGA movement, because any of those might be driving how they feel or how you feel. But the point is, in this step, is to get them in touch with the parts of them that clearly exist that make them not want to just go straight for Mr. Trump. They're not, they're Trump curious or undecided. They have that in them. They're undecided after all these, after all these years of Mr. Trump. It's useful to get in touch with that so you can collectively examine how do we feel about this decision, even though you know how you feel, you're trying to connect them with the full range of feelings, theirs and yours, that matter to this decision. So you also want to make sure that if you, if, when the conversation ends, and this might not be the only conversation you have, influence doesn't happen in one conversation, you want to express appreciation for them and for this conversation because you conceivably have had a really useful, honest, non-divisive conversation if you have stayed calm and non-judgmental because they're somewhat undecided and you are showing them compassion and non-judgment. And so you should express appreciation for that. And maybe you want to talk about it again. Influence doesn't happen in one conversation all the time. Your point is that you have created a collaborative space where you're both examining your experiences that push in both directions. And ultimately, they're going to make up their mind. They're grown folks. But you're trying to show them how you add all that up and see if that leads them to add it up in a different way than they're doing now. If you like the content of this video, please press like or subscribe because that helps the algorithm push it out to more people who might wanna see it. Anything you do in support, whether it's a like or a subscribe or a share or even a small financial contribution to this self-funded project, is helpful in making sure we can continue this important work of spreading compassion for the sake of democracy.